that all the land surfaces land surfaces in india has broadly classified into the six categories mountains plateaus plains islands coastal areas and deserts clear six physical divisions of india now the first question is there what we call to the study of our landforms physical divisions means the landforms of the earth sit down geology is a study about the landforms geology is a study about the landforms how they carved clear so there are how many forces which of the forces are responsible for the formation of the landforms on earth last sit down external and internal the internal forces work beneath the layers of earth crust external works above the surface of earth crust beneath the layers of earth crust are the earthquake volcanic eruptions and plate tectonics above the surface of earth crust there are the forces that act above the surface of earth crust are wind water sea waves and 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 forces which are acting above of the surface of the earth crust responsible for the formation of a landforms wind water sea waves and turn over turn over next 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 sunlight jo erosion kehte hain erosion is a force act on the surface of the earth crust dhiren can you answer it erosion and weathering are the forces dhiren can you tell me the external forces erosion and weathering are the forces at the above the surface of earth crust yes sir nahi nee, sir okay so these are the processes as the divyanshi said these are processes mera question tha what we call to the forces which has act on the surface of the earth crust as the external forces like wind water jaise aapne kaha rainfall is a part of the water theek hai hum bar bar watery batate rahenge fir aap ye mat keh dena hail fir aap ye mat keh dena snow sea waves ho gaya wind water sea waves and no air air is not equivalent to the wind what's the difference between wind and air dipanchi wind and air Glaciers. dipanchi will clear dipanchi clear it are you dipanchi dipanchi will clear air and wind ha ah, difference batao kya hota hai aapko pata hoga aur both are different air hawa hoti hai aur wind एयर हवा होती है और विंड भी हवा होती है बेटा सिनोनिम्स हो गए यस आई एम यूजिंग एट अ सिंगुलर नॉट अ प्लूरल एस नी डाला मैंने डब्ल्यू आई एन डी यस एयर व्हाट इट इज एयर व्हाट इज एन एयर सिट डाउन मिक्सचर ऑफ mixture of gases is the air when the air has displaced from the position is known as a wind simple a child from the fifth sixth standard it can easily make as a difference so let's we continue glaciers 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 makes as the landform above the surface of earth crust so let's we continue tectonic movements due to the tectonic movements sanji another question for you another question for you another question for you you appeared for the, uh, this revision test on a 4th of september sorry 3rd of september am i correct that thing which you learned in a four days earlier three days earlier i think it will be they are 60 80% it will be kept in your mind hoga so i am asking from this so let's we continue so tectonic movements there are three kinds of tectonic movements are leads to the formation of the landforms convergent divergent transform convergent movements when two plates are moved towards each other which leads to the formation of the fold mountains himalayas is the youngest fold mountain my question is a uh, the example of a old fold mountain in india old fold mountain in india stand up did you disturb the class stand up stand up koi galti se ek aur bar chance hai one more chance grabbed opportunities yes kanchenjunga k2 हिमालयास हिमालयास आधा रेंजेस दीस टू आधा माउंटेन पीक्स वो हिमालयास के अंदर ही हैं मेरा क्वेश्चन है मैंने कहा हिमालयास आधा यंगेस्ट सेट डाउन सेट डाउन सेट डाउन सेट डाउन वो बैठ चुके 
Aravli is in Rajasthan are an example of old pole mountains. Old pole mountains. Second as a divergent moments when two plates are moved away from each other under such circumstances, the cracks, the wider cracks are appeared on a surface, which is known as a rift valleys. Rift valleys. Third, third is a transfer moments when two plates are slides in opposite direction or either one upon the other has overlaps. One upon the other. One upon the other layer, other uh, lithospheric part has overlapped. Under such circumstances, a block mountains are formed. Example of a block mountains in world. Example. Aatha, isli apni upur kiya. Aap answer dene ke liye kya? Haan, uski example jaise Himalaya se da cold mountains, block mountains example. Now online. Yes. Sorry. No. Yes, anybody online class expecting the answer from a Kriti Varma. Kriti. Kriti. Can you give me the example of a block mountains in context of world? Kriti Varma. Very good answer. Thank you, Divya. Boskers in Europe. Vosgus in Europe, V O S G E S. Vosgus in Europe is an example of a block mountain. Next, we will proceed towards the first physiographic division of India is the northern mountains, the Great Himalayas. Great Himalayas are extend from the west to east. Total length of Himalayas: twenty four hundred kilometers long. What is as a width of the Himalayas? Himalayas are the narrower in a westward side and broader in a east side. Eastern sides, 150 kilometers to the 400 kilometers in eastern side. Sit down. So let's we continue. Himalayas, the 2400 kilometers mountain range, which has be, begins from the west, Suleiman Mountains in Pakistan towards the Patkai Boom in the east. This is as the mountain peak has lies in the eastern sides of the Himalayas, eastern sides of the country in a Myanmar. It's a 150 kilometers broader in the western and a 400 kilometers as their eastern sides. Himalayas are consisting the house. Himalayas consisting as the highest mountain peaks of the world. For example, Mount Everest, their average height is a, what is the height of the Mount Everest? 700? 7,500. Anybody else? Anybody else? Very good. 8,848 meters. 8,848 meters as a Mount Everest height. Which is as the highest mountain peak of India? Sit down. What is another term used in context of K2? Godwin Austin. Godwin Austin. Kanchenjunga in a Nepal. It has located on the north of the Nepal. Check it on your book. Kanchenjunga has located on the north of the Nepal, near Mount Everest. Mary, Mary, Godwin Austin. G O D W I N. A U S T I N. Godwin Austin is another term has used in context of Mount K2. India mein hai na? Wahan par. Mainne India ki puchi. Mount K2 is the highest peak, and its name is a Godwin Austin, which has located in a Karakoram ranges. Which physical feature of India? Sorry, we can divide the Himalayas on the basis of a drainage basins. On the basis of a rivers, we can divide the Himalayas into the four categories. Punjab Himalayas are lies in between of Punjab Himalayas are lies in between of online and offline. Punjab Himalayas are lies in between of nobody. Divyanshi. 
given a correct answer indus to the satluj indus to satluj are known as a punjabi himalayas there are two classifications are associated with the himalayas one as a drainage basin second as a longitudinal classification jisme himadri himachal and shivalik sand theek hai so the first classification on the basis of drainage basins indus to the satluj are a punjab himalayas himachal himalayas lies in between of punjab sorry himachal himalayas lies in between of very good divya it has extends in between of satluj to the kali river k w a l i kali river nepal himalayas lies in between of sit down kisi ko bitha lo nahi bithana thank you sahil stand up sahil stand up next purvanchal hills purvanchal hills are lies in between of unhone tista keh diya kali to tista river sada nepal himalayas now the purvanchal hills eastern himalayas are lies in between of very good divyanshi very good girl so the tista to was the dihang river dihang this is the name of a brahmaputra in arunachal pradesh sit down name of a brahmaputra in arunachal pradesh so this is as a extent of a eastern himalayas second classification of the himalayas as a longitudinal himadri upper himalaya himachal himalaya middle himalaya and lower himalaya shivaliks clear now with which physical feature has lies in a south of the northern mountains kisi ko bitha lo maine nahi bitha clear so northern plains are situated in a south of the mountains the general question hai aapko wo bhi nahi aa raha aapko lagna nahi chahiye to the point hona chahiye northern plains the great plains of india great plains of india are the formed by the deposition of a sediments brought by the rivers every year the rivers are brought a large quantities of gravels nodules pebbles sediments and deposited at their valleys due to which as a northern plains the great plains of india came into existence great plains are divided into the three categories indus plains ganga plains brahmaputra plains now the question associated with the indus plains what it means dwab D O A B. Stand up. Stand up. Stand up. Yes. Stand up. A land between the two rivers. Ab means the waters. Sit down. A land between the two rivers is known as a dwab. D O A B. For example, your Jalanda, your Jalanda, Kasharpur. Jalandhar, Kasharpur, Kapoorthala, and Pathan Kot are lies in a Bist Dwab. Its complete area ko Bist Dwab kaha jata hai. Why we call it a Bist? Because it lies in between of B, I, Bias, S, T, Satluj. Two rivers ke beech ka jo land hai. That's why it is called as a Bist Dwab. The area lies in a north of the Bias, which includes as a Taran Taran, Amritsar, Batala, Gudaspur, Gudaspur. these are the part of bari dwab b a comes from the bias r comes from the ravi ravi or bias ke in between hai aur land between the two rivers is a dwab clear any doubts till there any doubts next ganga plains okay before of it Indus plains are the result of the Indus and its tributaries. Five important tributaries: Satluj, Ravi, Chenab, Jhelum, and sit down. Bias. These five tributaries are drained the plains of India, and three other tributaries of Indus are there, which has lies in the Jammu and Kashmir. These are Shyamk, Nubra, and Jaskar. Z a s k a r. Clear. It means eight tributaries of Indus. Three has present in a Jammu and Kashmir, and remaining five are present in a plains of India. Out of which, as a two are present in a Punjab, remaining three has directly go towards a Pakistan. Pakistan. Huh? Ravi has makes the border in between of a Pakistan and Gurdaspur. उसको two and a half कह दिया जाता है. But half कहना half river India में अच्छा नहीं लगता. इसे हम two ही consider करते हैं. ठीक है? 
it has mixed the border little bit it touched the in, uh, indo pak border in a gujarat court now the next one ganga plains are the result of the ganga and its beauty ghaggar son kein betwa chambal kosi yamuna damodar ganda ghaggar so these are tributaries tisra also these are aap khali rahiye now the brahmaputra plains plains found by the brahmaputra and their tributaries so brahmaputra has their one tributary which has drains the parts of arunachal pradesh named as a dibang river which joins it and named as a brahmaputra in a parts of assam and meghalaya so these are also the known for the agricultural states assam and meghalaya because of excessive rain has records my next question is a which place in india is known as a wettest place wettest place wettest stand up place it's a state kira punji be specify specifically which place the word has begins with the m meghalaya me chira punji se 20 km westward side ek jagah hai name of a place which has received a 1200 cm annual rainfall world me itni jyada kahin aa nahi hoti very good divya mohsin ram m a w s y n r a m mohsin ram mohsin ram clear yaad rahega hard desert mein chale jao mil jayega next question yes mohsin ram m a w s y n r a m mohsin ram theek hai next which physical feature has situated the spelling mistakes are there direin corrected mohsin ram m a w s y n r a m mohsin ram no no next question which physical feature has situated in a south of the northern plains great plains of india peninsula plateau ab ek contradiction kaise hoga deccan plateau kuch had tak theek hai kyun hai peninsula plateau has divided into two parts central highlands and the deccan plateau central highlands and deccan plateau there are five plateaus are present in the peninsula plateau theek hai chhota nagpur plateau deccan plateau malwa plateau satpura then the central highlands yani sare plateau hain chale so peninsula plateau has divided into two parts central highlands and deccan plateau clear the division between the these two parts of a peninsula plateau has divided by the narmada valley narmada river which makes as a gap between the two of these parts of the peninsula plateau narmada ke northward hai central highlands narmada valley ke narmada river ke southward areas ko deccan plateau kaha jata hai aur the next question is a next question which physical feature of india has mixed the western boundary of a central highlands andaman ecobar lies in a southeast of the country आप समझे नहीं मैं यहां पर हूं नर्मदा इज देयर सेंट्रल हाईलैंड्स इसको कहा जाता है ये डेकन प्लेटू है मेरा क्वेश्चन है व्हाट वी कॉल टू द डेट फिजिकल फीचर व्हिच मेक्स एस अ वेस्टर्न बाउंड्री ऑफ अ सेंट्रल हाईलैंड्स सेट डाउन अरावली हिल्स थार डेजर्ट व्हिच आर लोकेटेड इन अ वेस्ट ऑफ द अरावलीज थार डेजर्ट ओके नेक्स्ट ईस्टर्न बाउंड्री Eastern boundary of the Central Highlands marked by the very good, Chota Nagpur Plateau, Chota Nagpur Plateau, Chota Nagpur Plateau. Northern boundary of the Central Highlands marked by the we are calling to the plateaus in this part of Uttar Pradesh. What do we call the Uttar Pradesh plateau? Ko? Very good, Bundelkhand and Bagelkhand. Bundelkhand and Bagelkhand. This is as a northern stretch of the Peninsula Plateau, the Central Highlands in Uttar Pradesh. Very good. Which B U N D E L K H A N D and Bagelkhand. Uttar Pradesh. Me, kaha jata hai ne? ठीक है नेक्स्ट विच फिजिकल फीचर हैज मेक्स द सदर्न बाउंड्री ऑफ अ 
सेंट्रल आइलैंड्स सेंट्रल हाइलैंड्स 